and it kind of mixes things up a bit. And I love watching other people's versions of the same tag. Uh, so the latest and greatest tag in the YouTube beauty world is the Colors of the Rainbow tag. And I was tagged by Ingrid, aka Miss Glamorazzi, and when I first saw her video, it was I saw the title Colors of the Rainbow, and I was thinking to myself, what the hell could that possibly be? I was just like, I didn't even, I had actually no idea as to what that tag video could be. But anyway, it makes a lot more sense now because I actually obviously watched the video and I was like, right. I think it's a really cool idea. Basically, you, there's different colors in a rainbow, ladies and gentlemen. You probably learned this when you were a very young child, but there's something called a rainbow. You ever heard of those? So basically you have to choose an item. I'm doing mostly beauty products, obviously. Choose a beauty product that kind of corresponds to each color of the rainbow. Anyway, I've gone through, I have chosen my items, and I am getting ready to start. First color, red. Red is the easiest color for me because obviously I love red lipstick. I, I have about a thousand red lipsticks that I could have chosen, but I chose the Rimmel Apocalypse in the shade Big Bang. This is just a nice, classic red. I love the formula. It's like you put it on. It's like a liquid lipstick. It lasts a really long time. It doesn't dry my lips out too much, but it's quite reliable. Like if I'm going to be out all day, I like to wear this. For instance, the lipstick I'm wearing now is by Revlon and it's kind of like a sort of a rich, creamy formula. And I find like if I just kind of brush my lips or something like that, it like smears all over the side of my face. So not always the best formula, but I really like these for days when, like I said, I'm gonna be out all day, or if I just wanna have a reliable lip color or I'm gonna be like having lunch or something and I wanna have something that's gonna kind of last. Um, so I'm choosing the Rimmel Apocalypse in Big Bang. I was gonna choose um, like an orange coral blush, but then I thought, just say no to coral and let's just be a little bit different, Este. So I chose the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I'll use this mask when I'm having a pretty normal skin kind of uh, day or week or whatever, and I don't have too many blemishes. I'll put this on and um, it basically just kind of eats away at the dead skin cells, but it doesn't hurt, it kind of tingles. And it just leaves you with a really refreshed sort of glowing look. And I mean, I love all Ren face masks. They are amazing. But this one is kind of one that I love to have because say if I have something important going on the next day, I love using this the night before because you wake up and your skin looks like it's new skin. It's really incredible. When I used this the first time, I really noticed a difference and I notice a difference every time I use it. So I think it's a good investment to make. I really like this mask. The next color is yellow and I immediately thought of these two products. It's the same sort of product range as by Caudalie and it's called the Zest Divine scent, I guess. Um, it smells like citrus, lemon, I've tried to explain this before, but basically it's like the sexiest citrus scent I have ever smelled and I don't even like citrus scents. And actually after the video, I think it was one of my favorites video where I mentioned this or something, I can't remember, my mom was like, oh, I was watching your video and I saw you talk about the Caudalie Zestivie, just like, so I ordered it. And I mean, my mom is not someone who even really cares that much about beauty products. So I was really shocked that she did it and I was like, oh damn, like I hope she likes it. And then she said when it came, she was obsessed. Like she couldn't stop smelling it. She loved the scent. So yeah, I mean, I mean, if my mom likes it and I like it, maybe that's like, I don't know. Does that run in the family, like different types of scents? Like if your mom likes a scent, is it more likely for you to like a scent? Any scientists out there? Let me know. Cause that's actually a, that's quite curious, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so it's kind of like a lemony citrus scent and it's really refreshing. I really love this stuff. For the color green, I'm choosing tea tree oil, and this is kind of cheating, but not really, but kind of. Um, the actual oil itself is not green, it's clear. So tea tree oil obviously comes from the tea tree, and that's a green plant. Um, so I'm going to include this. Basically, this is nature's antiseptic, and um, I put it on like cuts and just things to disinfect it and stuff, but in a beauty sense, I love putting this on my spots or pimples or zits or whatever you want to call it. But this is really good if you have a blemish, you can just put this on top and it does kind of sting a bit, which 
I'm not sure if it's actually good for you. Obviously, you know, tea tree is good for kind of killing the bacteria and stuff like that. And I've heard it's also good for redness. So like kind of like making the spots fade a little bit. Um, and I've used this since high school. I kind of like go off and then go back on it, but I'm back on it right now. So tea tree oil, it's very cheap. You can get it at health food stores or like on eBay or something. I think I paid like three or four pounds for this one. Blue was an easy one for me because I just looked down at my nails and I was like, right, Nails Inc. Baker Street. So that's what I'm choosing. This is one of my favorite nail polishes of all time. I love the color. It's just, it's blue. It's, it's really all you have to say about it. I feel like it's really eye-catching and I just think it's freaking cool. It looks awesome on your toenails. It looks good on your fingernails. I would assume this would look good if you had a tan or a darker complexion, although I obviously would have no idea about that. Um, but I have pale skin and it looks pretty good on me if I do say so myself. The next color is indigo. And honest to God, I don't even know what indigo is. Like, I do know what it is. I can see the color, but I don't own anything that's indigo. And honestly, I've spent like the last few days researching indigo and I've been like looking up like indigo beauty products, indigo makeup. And then I like said to Aslan, I'm choosing this, obviously. I don't even think this is indigo. I think it's blue, but I said to Aslan, I'm like, is this indigo? He's like, I don't fucking know. Oops, I've had about enough of indigo. I. I guess that's not a very common color or something, or maybe I just have never felt the need to buy anything that was indigo, so it was a bit of a tricky one for me, but I am going to be going with this, which is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is the closest thing I've got to an indigo anything, and I've looked. Violet. Um, I chose this purple eyeliner from Rimmel. It's the Scandalize eyeliner in the shade purple. I don't really experiment too much with my eyeliner or eyeshadow. I pretty much stick to neutrals, but I actually saw uh, my friend Gemma or Gems Maquillage, whose channel I will link below. I love the woman. Um, and we met up recently and she had this on her, I think her waterline or the top lashes or something. Anyway, she was wearing this and I was like, that looks good. It looked amazing. It didn't look too like colorful. It just brought out the best in her eyes. Gemma, if you're watching, I really, um, I really like that on you. Anyway, so I'm gonna give this a go. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but I'm working on it. So it's just a purple uh, violet um, eyeliner. The next color is pink and I'm going with a blush, but not just any blush. This is a Dior blush. And uh, you wanna talk about pink? Here's pink. This is the most pink item I own. Um, it is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush, and I know it looks terrifying, but when you actually put it on your cheeks, it's gorgeous. Basically, um, this blush is supposed to work with your body's natural, uh, pH balances, <laughs> I think? I don't know, your body's natural sort of, like, heat or something? Um, I don't know, your body's, your own body, it's supposed to work differently on everybody, okay? Um, and when I saw this, I was like, I don't know why, but I want that. I didn't know why I wanted it because I'm not really a pink blush kind of gal, but this blush, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Anyway, I won't go too much into this, but you just apply it onto your cheeks and it just melds into the skin beautifully and it looks flawless. So it doesn't show up as bright as that, but it kind of adjusts to you and uh, it's awesome. So the Dior Rosy Glow Blush is great and it's awesome for spring and summer. The last color of this rainbow tag um, is multicolored and I don't really have anything that I could really think of and I was like multicolor I was actually thinking of like drawing a rainbow and like using different colored paints like I was really grasping at straws and then it struck me I have something that's multicolored and it's one of my favorite things that I own um y'all ready for this do 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 okay uh, it is my telephone and oh, it's tangled. <laughs> it is like this really awesome phone. I don't know if I've actually mentioned this in a video, but Asla and I got this at a car boot sale like a couple of months ago. And I've always wanted one of these because when I was younger, my stepsister had one and I just thought she was so cool. And I thought the phone was so cool. So when I saw this, I was like, yes. Uh, and it was really cheap at a car boot sale, but yeah, it's multicolored and it's a see-through phone. I mean, 
Who wouldn't love something like this? So if you ever want to give me a call and I answer, it's gonna be on this phone and I just, I don't know, I just love it. When I was like growing up, there was this game called Girl Talk and it was like, it was like different truth or dares or whatever and it was like, I dare you to call your crush and tell him you like him and stuff like that. And I just remember like playing that with my stepsister and like using this phone. Very embarrassing memories, but um, great memories nonetheless. So that was my version of the Colors of the Rainbow tag. I'm gonna tag a few people down below in the description box, so take a look there. If uh, you wanna do it, just do it, obviously. You can always leave it as a video response, and um, that's all I really wanna say. Thanks a lot to Ingrid for tagging me because I love doing tags. I hate doing tags if I'm not tagged. I feel like a bit of a loner doing that, but um, don't feel like a loner. Just do them because I like doing tags and I'm